Working at Bilderberg, I have to set up a new schedule where I make sure I use the bathroom and I eat a lot of food before covering Bilderberg, mainly because because they are harassing and arresting people for no reason out there. And if you get arrested, you want to make sure you have food in your belly and you have used the restroom. This is actually the very current and very small free speech zone and protest against Bilderberg, which is actually pretty far from the hotel. The protests here have been extremely small, but tomorrow they're expecting 19 protests from the far left and the far right and possible clashes here at Bilderberg. Uh-oh, urgent police action. Two people wanted to walk near the Bilderberg Hotel with a sign. Automatically ID'd and stopped. Yeah. This is the paranoia paid for by the German taxpayers, making sure citizens have no freedom of speech here. Why? Because of the Bilderberg Group. So these guys just came out here and they are defying the law by holding a sign near the Bilderberg Group and this situation will get interesting soon. And they're off <laughs> before the police could get here and they just put down their banners and signs. Okay. Them, the police are following them though. Now the police officers are following them. And we will see what happens and develops from here. The police have got to the protesters, and now they have just stopped them. They're stopping press from filming, and uh, they just grabbed uh, a German's uh, press camera. Now the police officers are taking their passports and checking their identifications just for holding up a sign. A huge police action, a lot more police officers over People just overheard the police say that they plan on taking the signs, destroying them, and that they're worried that there's more individuals here. The police officer who said he would beat me up if he sees me again is also here during this operation. So we have all cameras ready to go if anything does happen. I got within like 10 feet of those guys and I can hear them. Hey, Dandex, Dandex. Yeah. Tapping on each other's shoulders, pointing at me. That good. Now the police are writing down what each sign says and uh, they're still detaining these guys right now for holding a sign. The police now are making the protesters roll up their signs and they're still discussing what just happened here. This has been over 30 minutes now. The police are now explaining that there is no free speech here and they have an option to roll up their signs or leave or be arrested. The police have allowed these protesters to leave freely if they stop protesting. And this entire police operation took over an hour. I had a very funny message. This is how to confuse cops. With nothing. <laughs> he has nothing. I'm, I'm, it's just cardboard he's carrying around. There's no signs. <laughs> and, and the cops are freaked out. They're like, oh no. But, but, the police officers fell for it, and now they're interrogating the guy with just a cardboard sign. A lot of the reporters thought that these were gunshots, but no, fireworks. Just did a video with Alan and Maria. Yo, yo. You will not believe what the German police did to them. The video will be up later on our YouTube channel. Amazing human beings, though. What we're seeing today from the German police is insane. Alex Pouncer, what did you see today? Uh, I saw a bunch of uh, craziness, uh, police bullying protesters for no reason. So we're sitting there having lunch and all of a sudden three cops come running by as fast as they can. They grab a man's backpack and dump it out on the street for no reason. In an alleyway because his major crime was him laughing at the police. Ha, 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 ha. Another important aspect when you're covering Bilderberg is to always travel in, in packs. Group. When I was by myself, that's when they got me. Never again. The German Bilderberg police literally wait until you're in an alleyway by yourself until they pounce on you so no one can see what they're doing. But the most important lesson about Bilderberg is never let them take away your happiness.
one last thing, the police officer who threatened me with arrest and brutal violence if I showed up to Bilderberg, we actually complained about him to the police ca captain. And then he got told off on like a private one-on-one -on -one conversation. And then he stormed off away from all of us. And then he keeps looking at me whenever he sees me. And then he keeps giving me this like extreme stink eye. Ugh. But he was definitely not happy about being sent to the van by himself after he got reamed by the police chiefs who we talked to. All right, guys, that is it for the build a Bursters crew. Jeff stays. He's still going crazy. Subscribe. We're going to have a lot more information coming.